Hey, Tony here. Today I wanted to take time to tell you what films I'm looking forward to watching here in 2023. Um, we, we just have gotten into January. I haven't seen any of the new films. I've been trying to finish up the films that were released last year. I did get to see The Whale, which I really enjoyed. Um, but there's a lot of great films coming up here in this new year, and I wanted to take time today to tell you what I'm looking forward to. I do have my printout here and my, and my decisions of what I'm definitely looking forward to, and I will be using my magnifying glass because I can't see some of these tiny writing, so I do apologize for that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in order of release dates that are listed. Um, so the first release is, there's nothing in January that I'm really anxious to see, maybe other than Megan. I kinda wanna see Megan in the theater, um, but I don't have that one highlighted. So the first one is in February, February 17th, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Quantumania. And that's one that I'm really looking forward to. I, I definitely enjoy the Ant-Man movies. Um, we've, me and my wife have seen those in the theaters when they come out. Um, the first one was great. I really enjoyed it. The second one was a little bit different and slower paced for me. But this third one looks like it's really going to be great. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what happens in that one. Um, the next movie that's coming out will be um, on February 24th. That's Cocaine Bear. Now, I really didn't have any interest in seeing Cocaine Bear until I saw the trailer in the theater before I watched, um, I think, I forgot which movie it was. But I did see the trailer in the theater. I couldn't avoid it. And it looks like it's going to be really interesting. I think that would be a fun type movie. It's based on actual events. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Cocaine Bear is all about. Um, next up would be um, March 3rd, Creed 3. I definitely enjoy Creed, the Creed movies. The first one and the second one were great. I'm sure this third one is going to be even just as good, I hope. Um, I know that Michael B. Jordan will be directing this one. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what happens in this one. I'm a big fan of the Rocky franchise. Um, so I'm just really looking forward to seeing what happens in this film. Um, next up would be on March 10th, we have Scream 6. Um, I'm a big fan of the Scream franchise. Definitely the first Scream movie is my favorite. But um, I, I have fun with all of them, and the last Scream movie was enjoyable. I enjoyed it, and so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where the franchise continues on. And so really looking forward to Scream 6. After that, I'm definitely looking forward to Shazam! Fury of the Gods. I enjoyed Shazam. I didn't really think I was going to like Shazam when it first came out. I was able to see that one in the theater. And I thought it turned out very well. It was very fun. Um, lots of humor. And so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where this character goes in this next film. Um, on March 24th, I'm going to be seeing John Wick Chapter 4. Um, the John Wick films are all definitely a lot of fun. Lots of action. Non-stop action, really. It's almost like there's just nothing but something going on to keep you... Um, intensified and just the action going so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where John Wick 4 goes I think that'll be a lot of fun the next batch will be in April April the 7th we have the Super Mario Brothers uh, movie um, I grew up well I, I say I grew up my kids grew up playing the Mario games uh, Mario Party uh, Mario Kart, all those great things, but in my early 20s is when Super Mario, Super, the Super Mario Brothers um, games came out, and I, I remember playing those um, when my oldest son was just a baby. Um, spent a lot of times in front of that TV playing the Super Mario games, and this movie just looks like a lot of fun. Um, very nostalgic, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. It looks like it's going to have some really great animation. Um, on April the 21st, Evil Dead Rise comes out. I'm looking forward to seeing what that is going to look like. Um, the Evil Dead remake, I really enjoyed. I actually saw the Evil Dead remake prior to seeing the original Evil Dead, and I really enjoyed the remake and thought it was very good. And to me, this style of this movie looks like it's going to be similar to the remake, so I'm definitely looking forward to what the story is and how that plays out. On, April, um, on May 5th, I'm going to be seeing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I definitely love the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're a lot of fun, a lot of heart and emotions. Um, 
I don't know, I just, for whatever reason, I really just enjoy all the characters, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this concludes, I guess. I hear it might be a conclusion for the, um, for the films, and so, trying to figure out what's going to happen. Um, I want to see it on opening weekend so that I don't have anything spoiled for me. On June the 2nd, I'm going to be seeing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I really enjoyed Spider-Man um, Into the Spider-Verse. I thought that was really fun. I, I was able to see that one in the theater. Um, great animation style. And so I'm really, really looking forward to seeing a, a new uh, movie for that. On June the 16th, there's a film called Asteroid City from Wes Anderson. I haven't seen anything about that one yet, but with Wes Anderson being involved, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what that's about. On June 30th, we have Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Um, that is probably something that I'm really looking forward to. I'm a big fan of Indiana Jones. I grew up watching the Indiana Jones films. And so I'm definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this plays out with Harrison Ford. Um, I hope it's a really good movie. I know that I really enjoyed the first one the most. Well, actually, I enjoyed the first one, and then it would be the third one, and then the second, and maybe I wasn't a big fan of the fourth one. So I'm definitely looking forward. I'm hoping that this ends up to be a very good movie. Um, on July the 7th, we have Insidious, Fear the Dark. I'm a big fan of the Insidious films. Um, I do love that franchise. Definitely the first one, the second one. Um, so I want to see where this one goes. Hopefully this will be a good one to see. I enjoy seeing those in the theater. Um, July the 14th, we have Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1. That's probably one of my most anticipated films of 2023. I enjoyed the Mission Impossible films. I think Tom Cruise was born to play that role. Um, lots of action, lots of big explosions, and I don't know, it's just a really fun time to watch. So looking forward to seeing how that ends up. On July 21st, we have a film called, um, I think it's pronounced Oppenheimer, and it's a Christopher Nolan film, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Christopher Nolan has um, in this one. It's been, uh, it's either a hit or miss with Christopher Nolan for me. There's a, some really great ones, and then there's some that are, then there are some that are really confusing, so hopefully this will be one that I can understand without having to watch multiple times. Um, in August, on August 11th, we have a Disney Haunted Mansion film, another reboot of Haunted Mansion. Um, this one's going to have Winona Ryder in it, Danny DeVito, Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm hoping that it'll be a really good film. I wasn't a big fan of the Eddie Murphy um, Haunted Mansion film, so hopefully this will be one that I can really enjoy. Um, September the 1st, we have The Equalizer Part 3. I enjoyed the first two Equalizer films with Denzel Washington, so I can't imagine that this will be bad. I'm, I'm hoping that this one will be really good and fun to watch. Um, September the 8th, we have The Nun 2. Um, I enjoy The Conjuring universe and the films. Um, some are better than others, but I enjoy them as a whole. Um, I did, I know that The Nun got a lot of hate probably for some good reasons, but it just wasn't terrible for me. I enjoyed watching it just because it was a part of that franchise. So I'm hoping that The Nun 2 will be better, um, one that I can enjoy. September the 22nd, we have The Expendables Part 4. I think The Expendable films are all fun. It's nice to see all these past action stars um, get together and have um, some kind of story plot. So Expendables 4... It's pretty surprising to me that they're going to be doing another Expendables film, but whatever. I'll, I'll watch it. On October the 13th, we have the Untitled Exorcist film. I hear that there's going to be multiple Exorcist films, so I'm not sure how that's going to play out, but I'm a big fan of the original. I don't really watch the sequels too often. I don't even know if I've seen the sequels. I do have them in the collection, but hopefully this um, Exorcist film will be good. I'm definitely going to be seeing that one in the theater. I do enjoy The Exorcist. Um, on the 27th of October, we have Saw X. You know, I'm not really excited about it, but I do want to see what it's about. Um, the Saw films really taper off as they move along. I really enjoyed the first one, the second, the third, and then they just kind of deteriorated from there. But Saw X, hopefully it'll be really good. Um, on November the 3rd, we get Dune Part 2. Um, 
I went into watching, I went to the theater and watched Dune when it was released, um, not knowing anything about it. Um, I didn't watch any of the trailers or anything, so I didn't realize that there were going to be multiple movies. So as the movie progressed and nothing was really happening, and the two hour mark was there, and I'm thinking, okay, what's going to happen? How's this film going to be ending up? And it didn't. It was continued on. Um, it makes me anticipate it more. I enjoyed it. It was kind of slow at, at parts, um, but I thought it was very well performed. I thought it looked great. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing part two. On December the 15th, we have the Wonka movie with Timothy Chalamet. Um, I understand it's going to be a musical. Um, definitely looking forward to checking it out to see how it plays out. I'm a big fan of the original um, Willy Wonka, but not that big of a fan of the Johnny Depp Willy Wonka film. Um, so hopefully this will be better. On the 20th of December, we have The Color Purple, which I understand is going to be a musical. The Color Purple is one of my favorite movies of all times, so hopefully this will be a good tribute to that and will be good. I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. And then on December the 20th, we also have possibly the Ghostbusters Afterlife sequel. Um, I really enjoyed Ghostbusters Afterlife. I thought it was a really great reboot of the franchise or continuation. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how that plays out. And then on December the 25th, we have Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. So I remember me and my wife going to see Aquaman. It was a bit of a long movie, but just watching all the characters with the underwater scenes, I thought it was shot beautifully. Um, an, an intriguing storyline. They could have done better with the villain. I'm really hoping that this movie kind of plays out to where the characters are concluded in some sort of fashion. Um, with all the shakeup at, at, at DC, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking out this new Aquaman film. So those are the films that I'm looking forward to watching the most. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the films that I've discussed, and also let me know what which of these films that you're looking forward to watching um, during the year 2023. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.